Okay, you guys, welcome, welcome back to uh, to class here. Uh, this hour, we are going to be practicing our reading and uh, pronunciation as we read through a, a, a short story. Um, this was an interesting short story. We read uh, read through uh, a lot of this earlier earlier this morning, and we may just start uh, start over at the very beginning so you guys get the full picture of uh, of what's going on. Um, but uh, but yeah. It was uh, it's a, an, an interesting story about uh, ballet, okay? Which I'm sure Bruno Bruno had selected this. He's like, I want to talk about ballet all day long. <laughs> I'm just messing, Bruno. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't hear. Okay. Oh, you didn't hear. <laughs> I no. said I said it's a, it's an interesting story about uh, ballet in a ballerina, and I said you had actually suggested it. You wanted to talk about ballet all day long. Yeah, I was just I was reading it. <laughs> And I I really like dance, Chad. I use it to dance. <laughs> really? Did you really? <laughs> yes. Cool. Did you uh, did you dance ballet or did you dance something else? I danced like uh, other stuff, but we uh -huh. had ballet classes, so we could uh, uh -huh. just get in shape or something. Very but cool. I don't know how to say Very that. Very cool, but, man. Yeah. But we danced yeah, other stuff. Yeah, so you can things. get in shape. Uh -huh. Yeah, like. Tango and uh, salsa, samba. Cool, man. Kind of yeah, <laughs> I, I have always, I've always wished, uh, wished I could dance, but uh, uh, alas, uh, I don't think that's in my cards. <laughs> I don't I think it'll happen for me. <laughs> I tried salsa before, but I found it very hard. <laughs> yes. It's welcome, <laughs> welcome to my world. Okay, I can't, I can't move my hips like that. I, I, I'm not made that way. I can't follow the instructions. It's very hard for me. <laughs> yeah, dancing, uh, dancing is not my, my forte at all, at all. Yeah, it, took, it took me some time to get my hips move, moving, Chad, because I used to uh, do martial arts, you know, so I, uh -huh. I was not like a dancer or stuff. And I just started dancing with this guy that called me, and it was uh -huh. very, very cool. Cool. Now, did uh, okay. is martial is martial arts very uh, um, uh, is very popular in uh, in Brazil? Yes. Okay. I I figured there's, and it, it may just be because I'm uh, I really enjoy um, UFC or or mixed martial arts and and uh, things like that, but. It just seems like almost every fight that I watch, it's a Brazilian fighter, and they're and they're incredible. <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu. Right? Yeah, Jiu-Jitsu. Yes. You know, it's a, uh, uh, it's incredible. It's a, uh, and and the thing is, it's like uh, sometimes if you look at uh, um, uh, uh, men from uh, Central and South America, they're not the biggest. Okay, they're not like really big people. But you look at Brazilians. Okay, there's some Brazilians that are massive, man. I'm like, holy cow! So yeah, just a, just a little bit different. Anyway, right. very cool. Well, let's uh, welcome welcome to class, you guys. Uh, let's see Thanks. who we have so far, and then we'll get into uh, reading. Uh, Aga, welcome back. How are you? Hello, I'm very good. What about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Good to, good to have you here again. Thank you. All right, and uh, Edai, welcome back. How are you? I'm still fine. How about you? You're still yes. fine, but still bad. Yes. <laughs> both are both are. Yes, and I, I'm okay now. I'm resting. Okay, and cool, man. Cool. Good to good to have you back in class. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Frank. Hello. Good Hello. evening. It's my first time in here. Uh, I'm from Brazil. It's a pleasure to me to participate in this group. Cool. Good. To, good to have you here. And uh, Frank, what uh, what do you do? Are you a student or do you work full time? I'm student. I'm studying here in Brazil. Okay. What do you study? I'm studying English, of course. Okay, um, but uh, in the university, what do you study in the university? Do you study English or are you uh, studying something else? Okay, uh, I'm graduated in pedagogy. Okay, great. So uh, uh, theology. Okay, all right. 
and that's what at least it sounded like. Okay, well, thank you, uh, thank you for coming to class. Good to have you here. Uh, how about uh, uh, now? Would your name be uh, Hakan or Hakan? Hi. Yes, my name is Hakan. Okay, so Hakan with the accent at the beginning. Yes, uh, this is my second time here, and also I'm from Turkey too. Yeah, cool, man. Uh, how how was your uh, day today? Oh, it was okay because uh, today was a national uh, holiday in Turkey. <laughs> nice. We didn't have any class. <laughs> <laughs> we were free. Good. And what uh, what holiday is it? What do you what are you celebrating? Yeah, uh, this is a national ceremony for children. Okay. All right. Cool, man. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to class. Good to have you here. Thank you a lot. All right. How about uh, Jane? How you doing, Jane? Hello again. Hi. Now, <laughs> is is this uh, is this a picture of you and your hand, or is this just a picture from off the internet? Oh, from internet. Okay, so from Not the internet. Hand. All yeah. right. Okay, because I was going <laughs> to <Unfortunately>. say. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, welcome back to class, Jane. Good to have you here. Thank you, Chad. All right. Liliana, welcome back. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. Great class about uh, T, T and B and I B sound. Good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good. So, our uh, you uh, your your EDs are, are are really good. We just have some uh, some endings that are harder to pronounce, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, and that's that's how it is sometimes. I have uh, I have words that uh, trip me up in Spanish uh, like crazy, and I have to work at them to to get them to come out right. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> so Jane and, and I are checking your profile to. To be in your pronunciation classes, all all of them are great. But uh, we love it and uh, this pronunciation class. Cool. Well, so thank we you. All, all, all yeah, the all the today true. your profile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm. Chad has a pronunciation <laughs> class at that. <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, I'm probably going to start doing uh, pronunciation classes like E D or T H. Uh, um, the V sounds. The difference between V and P. Um, w sounds, things like that, uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I think that's what I'm going to make my schedule, and uh, and I'll uh, I'll start kind of planning things out a little bit more. I know, um, uh, yes, uh, I, I I'm still planning on a tongue twisters class where it's straight tongue tongue twisters all day long. Uh, <laughs> Uh, those are they're fun. They they really are. So, um, but I know uh, also Verbling is coming out with uh, with some classes. Okay, they're like it's like coursework, and uh, I'm I'm interested to see how they're going to be doing it. But uh, I may I may be going into that. They may want me to do that. They may not. I don't know. You know, we'll see. Uh, we'll see uh, how everything works. You are the best teacher here. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You're very kind. Uh, very good. Uh, let's uh, let's see who else we have. Uh, Vincenzo, how are you? Hello. I'm fine, thanks. And how are you things going? Your things going? Uh, things are things are going pretty well for me today. Thank you for asking. Very good. Uh, oh. What uh, what uh, what have you been able to do today, Vincenzo? Uh, we have to do. I don't know what do you mean exactly. <laughs> I'll be able to do. Uh, I am I, I'm following your lesson, and this is the second verbal chart that I am attending now. All right. It's very, very late now. <laughs> uh, what so what time is it there in Italy? Uh, uh, what it's time, uh, what time is it? twelve past uh, twelve. Okay. Twelve so past, past twenty-four. Past midnight. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Well, thank yeah, you for, just, uh, for just staying a, up and hanging out. A bit out. after midnight. Okay, all right. Well, good, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good to have you here. Good to have you here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we also have uh, Yastra. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Welcome back to class. Thank you, Chad. Good. Now, in this picture here, are you looking out the window of a vehicle or the window of a building, something like that? Or is this yeah. not you? 
No, no, no. It's me and actually it's submarine. A submarine? Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> so when uh, when were you able to go on a submarine? Um, maybe uh, six months ago. Wow. And, yeah. and uh, where where did you go? Were you... Uh, um, Red Sea. The Red Sea. Fabulous. Yes. Yeah. Wow, very cool. What did you see uh, a lot of, uh, or what kind of things did you see un under the uh, sea? Uh, so many colors, color, uh -huh. colored fish. Yeah. And um, I don't know what's named. Uh, weed, maybe? or uh, uh, Seaweed. Seaweed and um, corals, you know? Uh huh. It was fantastic. Seaweed. Yeah, fantastic. The, that would be called a coral reef. Uh -huh. Okay, like this, coral reef. Very cool. Yeah, that's uh -huh. great. Uh, excellent. I didn't know that. I'd, I'd always wondered that. Okay, and I thought it was maybe an effect that you put on the uh, on the uh, the picture, but it makes sense if you're looking out into the blue ocean, then it would reflect as being blue. So uh, yes. very nice. <laughs> okay, uh, very good. So uh, looks like uh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. Um, thank, thank you, Bruno, for uh, for posting the uh, the link. Okay, no uh, <laughs> go ahead and, and open that, everybody. If you look in the chat box uh, uh, under uh, Bruno's uh, Bruno's name, there. Okay, uh, it has the link to what we're going to be reading, which is uh, "Fall from the Promised Land." Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, open that up. We uh, we are going to be starting off on the right hand side this hour. Okay. Uh, when you open it, this is what you'll see. All right. And uh, let's start off with uh, with Yasra. And uh, Yasra, let me have you read the uh, the first. Uh, Okay, probably a, the, a good chunk of this first paragraph. Okay. Uh, let's see, down to... Uh, let's, let's just have you do the whole thing. Uh, that's, it's not going to be a big deal. Yeah, go ahead and read just that, that whole first paragraph. It looks like it's two paragraphs. Okay, go ahead and All read that, please. All right. Fall from the promised land. Whoever said that when things are going really great in your life, something will happen to you ruin it was right. I know that sounds like a very pessimistic attitude, but I really believe in this idea. Like if you get a test back in a in a class and you get an E on it, on it, the chances are the next test you get back won't be as good. Or if all or all of the sudden you get a job and you're making tons of money to buy new clothes and stuff, you will probably get dumped by your boyfriend the next day. That's just the way the universe works and I'm telling the truth. Last year, for example, I, Melissa Winston, had been accepted into an elite dancing school. It had five mid Meticulous three hours practices a week with traveling competitions on the weekends. It was the hardest thing I had ever attempted, attempted, attempted in my life. There you go. But, I, but I didn't care because dance gave me a purpose. I love everything about it, from the strict dress code of black layered and pink tights to the roll call at the end of a performance. Whenever I, whenever I complained about a practice or about how I was working so hard, one of my three older overachieving brothers remained reminded of the tedious homework they had to do at their private schools when they were in high school and how they had to complete endless hours of community service to get into the EV Leggish. They That would be Ivy, Ivy Leagues. Ivy Leagues. 
they churn so much now those comments usually chat me chat me up quickly so besides from the occasional complaining about being worn out i was very happy that in my last day of being a middle scholar and the week before i went away to camp for the summer is where my story begins great thank you very much let's practice some words together okay um okay. Uh, first off the word cherished cherished yeah so it's cherished 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 good good and that's and that's going to be a t sound at the end there cherished 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 good good cherished. okay yeah so uh we're going to go back to the to this word here ivy leagues okay let's uh, let's repeat that one more time ivy leagues ivy leagues Great. Now, Ivy League uh, refers to colleges that are very expensive and very exclusive. So, um, in the United States, we have like Yale, okay, I believe. I don't go to them. Uh, Yale, uh, Stanford, okay, um, MIT, which is a, uh, a technology uh, place, but it's really expensive to go there. And a lot of smart people go there, okay. Harvard would be another one, okay. That would be Ivy League schools, okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I do want to practice. Uh, here it is. Okay, so um, most of the, the 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 words that were here, you pronounced good, uh, but in between to and roll, that's when you said z. Okay, you you gave me a z sound. So we're going to practice this. We're going to say um, black leotard and pink tights to the roll call at the end of a performance. So we're going to focus on the word the both to the roll call at the end of the performance, okay? So go ahead and read that from Black okay. Leotard. Black le Leotard, Black Leotard and Pink Tights to the recall, to the, to the roll call at the end of a performance. Good, all right, so instead of rolling your R and saying roll, okay? Roll. To, to the roll call, so let's try that one more time. Black Leotard and Pink Tights to the roll call at the end of a performance. Black lit lettered and pink tights to the roll call at the end of a performance. Okay, let's let's practice that. We're gonna slow down and practice to the roll. To the roll. Try that one more time. To the roll. To the Good. roll. There you go. To the roll. To the roll. Okay, give me an R, okay? So here you're going back to your uh, your uh, hard R sound, roll, roll, okay? We want to give an R to the roll call. Try that, to the roll call. To the roll call. There, that's it. Okay, one more time. To the to roll the, call. To the roll call. Excellent, very good. Okay, um, uh, our next word is probably a new word for you. Here it is. Okay, the word is meticulous. 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 Yeah, meticulous. so that you is going to be EU. EU. So meticulous. 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 Excellent. One more time. Meticulous. Meticulous. Very good. Okay, let's practice the uh, TH ending uh, with truth. 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 Okay, now. The trick to the TR sound, you want to think of them, and it's the same as a TR, THR, okay? That TR, you're going to think of as one sound. So instead of saying T and ER, we're going to say CHUR, CHUR, Tur. try that, CHUR, Tur. there, okay? Tur. CHUR, OOTH, CHUR, OOTH, CHUR, OOTH, okay? Tur. Truth. 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 All right, that's going to be the TH tongue between the teeth truth 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 good one more time truth 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 there that's it one more time I, okay all right slow it down we're going to say we're going to say true uh, sorry true truth true truth truth good there truth truth Okay, chur-uth, chur-uth, 
Truth. 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 Okay, getting closer. Okay, so that TR, that's a, that's a little bit of a tricky one for you, okay? So focus on that, okay? And, uh, and uh, yeah, that was, that was my last word. Very good. Okay? okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's go to Vincenzo. Okay, sir. Uh, let me have you uh, read this next paragraph, please. Uh, make sure to unmute your microphone. Wait a moment. There you are. Uh, okay. Wait a moment. I go on the story. Hello. It was a particularly humid June afternoon, and my legs were sticking to the seat of the leader in my mom's car as she was driving me home from my eighth grade promotion. My little girl is growing up, my mom remarked, remarked emotionally as we pulled up to the house. As the youngest in my family, I pretended to re relish the constant overprotectiveness over of my everyone, but secretly I craved the attention. Two months ago, since I received the word of my acceptance into the summer dance program, many things started to change for me. My slightly tall and lanky body, I had always had as a, a child, had sprouted up three inches and I had gained uh, 15 uh, pounds. Pounds? No. Yes. Yes, pounds. I know had hops. Pounds. I know had had hips, breasts, breasts and full and a full behind. My once blonde stick straight hair had turned a golden brown and curled throughout. My eyebrows had gone from cutely large to dark and bushy, requiring a routine beauty treatment. Treatment. The changes that occurred felt scary to me, but not half as frightening as it was to other people. My parents were starting to realize they had a teenage girl to look after. My brothers had to keep an extra eye out of me, and then there were John, stuck, struggling, with feeling of desire and constraint for me. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at, uh, at uh, one phrase first, and then I have some words for you, okay? So here, okay. Uh, uh, an extra eye out for me, okay? You said an extra, uh, let's see, uh, an, ex an extra eye out for out. So you added a uh, Anna, so an extra eye out for me, okay? So we want to uh, um, take out those uh sounds, okay? So we want to say an extra eye out for me. Try that. An extra, uh, an extra eye out for me. Good, good. Now, uh, yes, sometimes uh, when we're when we're uh, uh, speaking or reading, uh, we get comfortable. Okay, uh, you get into a flow, and uh, and some of the uh, things that uh, that that you used to say come out. Okay, and so that's what happened a little there, but it was only right there. That's the only time that I heard it. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's practice some words okay. here. Okay. This word is occurred. Occurred. No, where, where is it? Um, occurred. Occurred. All right, now this is going to be a D. There you go. That's the D sound. Occurred. Occurred. D. Occurred. Occurred. There you go with that D. D. Nice. Good. Yeah, before you, would, you were pronouncing it with a T sound, saying occurred. Okay, but it's a D, okay? Nice job. This word is okay. eyebrows. I, eyebrows. 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 Good. One more. 
one more time. Eyebrows. 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 Good. Okay. My eyebrows. Right. Okay, this word here is gained. Where is it? Uh, I don't see it. Where is it? Uh, okay, it's in the middle of the paragraph. Gained. Ah, uh, gained. 15 pounds. Gained. Gained. I don't... I can't pronounce very well the D. Uh, how do you say D? Like gained. Uh, like T? Like T? No, or, not like a T. Like the, a T you, or like a D? Not, not like a T and not like gained. the Italian... Gained. Gained. Okay, all right, hold on. So it's no, gained. No, Italian T. Yeah, you're, it's gained. Okay, you you had been saying it right. Okay, it, it's not like the Italian T. Okay, neither like the Italian D. Okay, it's like the R sound. D, D. Okay, gained. Gain. Gained. Gained. There you go. Gained. There you go. Gained. Now. After gained. now, now gained. that you have the uh, all right, Vincenzo, Vincenzo, relax, relax. Okay, now, now that you have the uh, oh, okay. the uh, the D, now that you have the the tongue placement. Okay, you can you can say that d d d sound. Um, you want to practice saying it a little d, d, quieter. D, 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 d. Okay, so instead of saying gained and really forcing it out, okay, it's nice and soft. Gained. Try that. Gained, gained, gained. Good. Okay. Gained. A little gained. softer. D a little. D d d gained. All right. A little softer. Okay. You're you're pronouncing gained. it very hard. It softer. Lay off it just a little bit. Relax on it. Okay. Ah, yeah. you can say gained, 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 gained. There. Gained. There you go. Gained. Gained. Yeah. Gained 15 gained. pounds. Gained 15 pounds. Gained. Try that. Gained, gained 50 pounds. Gained Good. 15. Uh, gained 15 pounds. That's it. Gained okay. 15 so that's, pounds. That's how you pounds. pronounce the, the uh, All right. Pounds. Okay. Okay. That's how you pronounce the D sound. Okay. Okay. And whenever you see a D, a D, that's how you want to uh, yes. uh, pronounce that. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vincenzo. Okay. Awesome. Okay. And you, uh, let's you. go to let's go to uh, Liliana. Uh, yes. Okay. All right, Liliana. Let's uh, let's go to uh, our next. Uh, okay. Let me have you read. Uh, I think it's four sentences after that. So uh, go ahead and read this next sentence in the next uh, four one-liners. Okay. Okay. If I haven't properly introduced John, I will know. No, sorry, I will not. John Peter Lewis, or JP, as his friends fondly called him, was 16 years old, the middle of five children, uh, five uh, feet. How can I read that? Five feet? Uh, five, uh, you can say five nine, or you can say five foot, uh, five foot nine inches tall. Okay, five foot and nine inches tall. Dance with me since we were little kids and had the most beautiful smile I had ever seen. He was the type of boy who could win you over with his humorous charm and who, who you could never stay mad at. Unfortunately for me, all of these enduring qualities didn't go unnoticed by the girls around him. Every girl in our dance class either wanted to date or flirt with him. Maybe it was the fact that he was the only straight, decent looking boy whom spent over 15 hours a week with us. Or maybe it was JP's energetic aura that made the girls go weak in the knees for him. Whatever the case, I always felt as if I had the better advantage over the other girls because John was also my best friend. We had grown close over the years and had recent, recently started hanging out of class. In the winter, uh, just before I had told him of the summer dance program in San Francisco, I told J JP about my more than friendly intentions towards him. And do you think we could be more than friends, like a couple? 
I asked with a fleeting hope. Uh, and the next next three one-liners. Okay, uh, me, I don't know. You are in the middle school right now. I'm going to be 16 soon, he replied. And uh, well, I didn't seem to bother you before. I've always been two years younger than you. But it would be different if we went out. I don't think our friendship could survive it. GP, I sorry, GP explained. Okay, that's JP. I JP, JP. I there know. you go. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's uh, let's practice some words here. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, uh, first off, uh, different. Okay, difficult because it looks a lot like a Spanish word. Okay, so instead of saying D di, different, okay, it's D di, different. Different, different. Good. One more time. Different. Different. Good. Different. Okay. Uh, now this word here, um, because we have a T and then an ing, that T can be pronounced like a D sound. Fleeting. Fleeting hope. Okay. Fleeting hope. Fleeting. There you go. One more time. A fleeting hope. A fleeting hope. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Uh, if I can find it, the word is decent. Uh, where did I see uh, you at? It's like e, not, not, not like e. Okay, decent. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is. Decent. Decent. Okay. Decent. Good. Um, the my next word is flirt. Okay. Uh, here you had said flirt. Fleer, uh -huh. flirt. Okay, it's flur, flirt. Flirt, flirt. All right. Now, uh, the trick with this is, uh, I'm I'm trying to think of another uh, another word, but uh, in most cases, okay, uh, if you see an ir in the middle of that word, okay, mm -hmm. um, it will more often than not be pronounced like an er, okay, like a her, okay, or an er sound. Right, like so heart, flirt. Heart. Uh -huh. Yeah, like hurt. Even though that's a U R, that's pronounced as an er, okay, and not hurt. This would not be flirt. It's uh -huh. flur, flirt. Okay, so try yeah. that one more time. Flirt. Flirt. Good. Okay. Now this this here, the middle of five children. Uh, when you said that C H, it sounded like an S H. Five children. All right. So we're gonna practice that C H. Five children. Try that. Five children. Good. So we're going to say uh, the middle of five children. The middle of five children. Good. Much better. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chat. All right. Let's uh, let's keep going. Uh, let's go to Jane. Okay. Um, All right, Jane. Let's uh, let's have you read. Let's see uh, these next. Uh, four paragraphs, so it's uh, one decent size and then two kind of smaller ones, or three kind of smaller ones. Go for it. Okay. For the next few months, we walked on eggshells around each other. He, not wanting to upset, stayed distant and tried to act like his rejection didn't bother me by showing my immature side. However, on the June afternoon when I came home from school, I felt things were different between us when I stepped into my house in a surprise going away. Graduation party was awaiting me. John was the first one I saw in the crowd being the first to greet me with a close hug. As my lively party died down, John grabbed grabbed my hand and pulled me outside. I was, sweating, sweat, I was sweating with anticipation as his soft hand led mine to the pool house out back. I have a present for you, John said as he handed over to me a small box wrapped neatly with a bow tied on top. Wow, thank you, John. I love it. It said this feeling a twing of emotion as I pulled out a bracelet with a, with a single charm of a ballet shoe. I was watching you uh, was watching 
you at your promotion today. I felt like I was seeing you in a totally different light. You look at so grounded and not like the best friend I used to know. It was after these words that Jepay leaned over and kissed me. Kissed me. It was quick and unexpected, but unforgettable. When you come back, I want to go out for real. He whispered in my ear, in my ear, as I gave his an embrace with gratitude. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just up there. Thank you very, thank you very much. Okay, you did good. Good did, did good. Okay, let's. Uh, let's practice some words here, okay? So uh, first up, I have some ed ending words, okay? So I'm going to highlight them here, okay? okay? And I want you to remember back to our last class. Yeah. Oh, okay. Unexpected. Unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. Unexpected. Okay. Un that unex T. We can, unexpected. That T we can change to a D sound. Did. 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 Okay, so remember, you want to hit the hit the the top part of your uh, of your mouth. Did please repeat that? Did. Did. Good. Did. One more time. Did. Did. All right. So unexpected. Did. Unexpected. <laughs> All right. Unexpected. Unexpected. Okay. Unexpected. Unexpected. Okay, getting closer. All right, let's uh, let's practice another one here. Okay, this is I'm gonna highlight this one right here. Okay, all right, it ends with a uh, a K. How would we pronounce oh, that? Looked. There you go. Looked. Excellent. Looked. looked. All right. Right up above that is this one here. How would we pronounce that? Watched. Watched. Good. Watched. Watched. Excellent. Watched. <laughs> this one Very is harder. Good. It is. That, that CH to a T sound is definitely yeah. harder. Good job. Okay, uh, let's practice this word here. The word is ballet. Okay, so the T is actually oh, silent. Ballet. Yeah, ballet shoe. Ballet shoe. Ballet shoe. Okay. okay. Excellent. All right, and Thank let's you. see. Um, uh, one, one more. Uh, let's see, where'd Boot? you go? I. It is, I love, uh, we're, we're done with the EDs. The rest I of your EDs sounded great. Uh, I love it. Uh, I love it. Oh, right here. I love it. I love, I love it. it. I love it. I love it. Okay, I love, I love it. it. I love it. I love it. I love Good. it. Good, okay. Uh, one last word, and uh, that word is lively. So she came out of the lively, oh, lively party. Lively. Lively uh -huh. party, lively party. Good. All right. Nice job. Thank you very much, Jane. Thank you, Chad. All right. Let's go to our next uh, paragraph or so, and this is for uh, uh, Hakan. Okay. All right. Let me uh, have you read uh, this next paragraph. Okay. Now I'm reading. The next right. day. Uh, should I start? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, the next day, as I boarded the plane for camp, I of course was feeling pangs of regret for leaving just when things were starting to get interesting with GP. However, I didn't look back as I began an experience I was not soon to forget. Arriving at the campus, the next morning was a surreal experience. Everyone was an amazing dancer in all of my classes. They all had hopes of becoming ballerinas and making it big, just like I did. After talking to others through draw, draw, draw the orientation, I discovered I was not the only one who had been part of a competitive dance team, dance team and who had a rigorous dance schedule. Many of my fellow campers danced at least 10 hours more a week than me and for 5 years longer. Some of them, including my roommate Susan, didn't even go to a regular, overwhelmed, sorry, 
uh, a regular school but had a private uh, teacher who worked around their dance schedule. I felt extremely overwhelmed by the catching up I had to do. In just the first first week, I spent at least an hour extra each day practicing what I had learned. I was exhausted beyond belief. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, let's practice some words here. Uh, first up, uh, if you look here on the board, the word is extremely. Extremely. Good. One more time. Extremely. Extremely. Very good. Okay. Our next word is private. 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 All right. Private. We're going to practice. Let's practice that V sound here. I have a, a couple of other words that have V sounds that I want to uh, practice. This is pri private. 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 Good. Private. One more time. Yeah. Private. Good. Private. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go to our next word. This is uh, rigorous. Okay, so right here. Uh, rigorous. Uh, rigorous. Good. One more time. Rigorous. Rig rigorous. Good. Okay. Um, now this word here, we want to practice that V sound as well. It sounded like you were saying every, everyone. The word is ev, everyone. Everyone. Good. One more time. Everyone. Everyone. Okay. Uh, last word with the V sound in it. Okay. The word is however. 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 Okay. However. 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 Okay. Good. Much better. Nice job. Okay. Yeah. Good reading. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Let's go to uh, Edai. Okay. All right. And I let me have you read um, uh, these uh, these one-liners here, and then after that, this uh, this paragraph that's down below. Okay. Okay. Which? Uh, starting on starting on uh, on the Sunday after. Okay. Okay, and keep reading, and I'll, I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Okay. And. On the Sunday after my first week was over, Susan came and sat on the end of my bed. You know, you are really pretty, even with all that extra weight. You have all of this natural talent without having a dancer's body. You are really lucky, Susan said to me earnestly. Thanks, I guess, I said hesitantly. No, I am complimenting you. My mom would... Like, would you kill me if I went to, if I went off the special diet she set for me when I was eleven? Well, I eat whatever I want. I know. I said you are lucky. You can do that and still dance so well. Those words stuck in my mind that whole night. I just kept tossing and turning in my bed, thinking. Was the extra weight I had gained in the last few months affecting how I danced? Could I be as good as all of these girls if I lost a few pounds? For the next week, I decided to cut out, cut out all of the junk food I normally ate and see what it did. At the end of the week, I felt great. great with a burst of fresh energy. I had even lost three pounds. The, comp the compliments I received ranged from, wow, you are an awesome dancer, to you look really great. The attention I was getting reminded me of home, so I thought, why let it stop? The next week, I cut out high fat foods, along with the junk food. It worked great a few more pounds came off and more compliments piled on susan even started to share her dieting secrets with me she was on a no carbonide carbonhydrate plan and so i tried that too by a month's time 15 pounds had diminished from my frame and i looked like a professional dancer 
All right, excellent job. Uh, let's uh, let's practice some words here, okay? Uh, first up is this word. Okay, the word is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. Okay, one more time. Carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. Very good. Okay. Um, now, in this word here, that T is going to change to a D sound. We're going to say dieting. Dieting. One more time. Dieting. Dieting. Very good. Okay. Um, okay. Now, I want to practice your TH sound. Okay. Two words specifically, thought and three. Okay. So, let's start off with thought first. Okay. Th thought. Thought. Okay, one more time. Thought. Thought. Good. All right, let's try three. 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 Good. One more time. Three. Three. All right, so in this uh, sentence, we're going to say, I had even lost three pounds. Okay, I had even lost three pounds. Good, much better. And uh, here... Okay. Is so I thought. So I thought. So I thought. Okay, one more time. So I thought. So I thought. Thought. Okay, much, much better with your th sounds. Now those okay. uh, um, that that uh, that t is going to be a a, a voiceless t that th mm -hmm. sound. Okay, mm -hmm. so keep practicing that. That was the okay. only time uh, when I when I heard. Uh, uh, heard you pronounce those th's incorrectly. Okay, every every time else was great. Okay. Okay. Very good job. All right, Thank let's you. go to uh, let's go to Bruno. Hi, Doc. All right, man. Let's uh, let's go to. Uh, let's see. Let me have you read. Um, excuse me. These next two paragraphs here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and read the next two paragraphs, please. Okay. Just a second. However, instead of feeling great like I had with the first weight loss, I felt really tired. My muscles were cramping up easily, so I had to take more time to stretch. Also, my period had stopped coming, but I thought, uh, I thought it was normal because this sometimes happened uh, to hard-working athletes. But losing all of this weight did have many perks. perks. I got more attention from the boys, from the instructors, and from my fellow camp friends. All of the girls wanted to know how I lost so much weight so quickly. I thought to myself, when I come home in two weeks, JP won't be able to resist me. I was so excited to begin our, our relationship. However, uh, even as others around me constantly said how great I looked, I still felt inadequate. This was my, my chance to shine, to shine, and be better than I, deb, I ever was in dance. If I excelled in this, it would make up for my academic skills that fell far below my brothers and <clears throat> and it would enhance my image of being the perfect daughter. Becoming the best in my dance class soon seemed within reach and I wanted to do anything and everything to achieve that goal in the short time I had left at camp. Okay, excellent job. Uh, let's, uh, let's go over uh, two words here. It's all okay. Sure. Um, now this word here, uh, the ending, we would not say inadequate, okay? It's inadequate. Okay. Inadequate. Uh, that's hard. <laughs> Can you repeat it, Jim? Sure. No problem. Inadequate. Quit with a short I sound. Inadequate. Okay. Inadequate. Okay. Now, this works the same, uh, like if you were to graduate from college, okay, or from high school, um, uh, and you were talking about uh, um, uh, it, the noun, okay, the person, okay, if you were to, uh, if you were using it as a verb, that would be graduate. I'm going to be graduating soon, okay, but if you're talking about uh, the person, the noun, 
okay, a person that is a graduate, that A is, uh, is pronounced as an IT, just the same as inadequate, okay? So, graduate and inadequate. It has that same it sound at the end. So, let's, uh, let's practice inadequate one more time. Inadequate. Uh, inadequate. Good. Just like that. Very good. Okay. Um, my, uh, my next word is this one right here. Remember, that C is going to be silent. Muscles. Okay. Muscles. One more time. Muscles. Muscles. Very good. Yeah. Uh, now, everything else sounded really good. Okay. The things that, uh, okay. that we had been working on, your TH sounds, um, uh, ED endings. Okay, uh, I didn't hear any short I issues, any L issues. Okay, it's sounding really good. Very good job. Cool, thanks, Chuck. Yeah, uh, let's uh, let's go to my next reader. This is uh, Ahmed Lofty. Let me have you read um, this uh, next paragraph here, as well as these uh, one-liners. So we've got a whole bunch of one-liners that lead down to the bottom. Go ahead and read those, please. Okay, so this first paragraph uh, at first. So uh, there were also. Melissa? Uh, no, Melissa. Start, off, start off with the uh, paragraph just above that, okay, where it says there were what also. Happened? So I'm going to have you read that paragraph as well as those sentences down below, okay? What happened? Why are you so thin? Uh, Thanks, uh, Mom. Ahmed? I will... Ahmed, yes. um, so let me uh, take a look here on the uh, screen, okay? Okay. Uh, this paragraph that I'm highlighting that starts off with, there were also. That's where I would like for you to start. And I'm going okay. to have you continue down to, uh, down to here, okay? But, uh, because these are, these are very small, okay? So I want you to read okay. this paragraph first, okay? Go ahead. There were also a bunch of girls... Where, where, where is, it, is the paragraph? Uh, yes, right there. There were also a bunch of okay. girls that I became there friends were with. Also a bunch, uh, okay. There were also a bunch of girls that I became friends with who joined me on my quest to stay slim. They told me horror stories of how they only brushed their teeth once a day with toothpaste because it had calories in it and how each stick of job I ate back 15 calories apiece. I figured if I could cut a few little things like that out of my diet, it would eliminate any unnecessary weight gain. By the end of July, my camp was over, and when I arrived home, I weighed 103 IBS, a full 22 IBS, less than when I began camp. I thought I looked like a work in progress. Okay, keep going, uh, where it says better than I did before. Uh-oh, did we lose uh, Ahmed? Okay, um, Aga, let me let me have you continue from where he left off. Okay, um, he was at uh, better than I did before. Okay, and uh, keep, uh, keep reading, okay? Um, okay, uh, better than I did before. Uh, but not finished. As the taxi drop, dropped me off and I walked in through the front door, my mom's face was at his. Melissa, what happened? Why are you so thin? She's squealed. Thanks, mom. I was just trying a new diet. I explained. How much weight have you lost? She asked me with co concern. Only about 10. Um, how you read that? That's pounds. Oh, just pounds. Okay. Uh, I lied as she helped me carry my bags upstairs. Uh, I noticed I noticed that uh, do. Honey, are you feeling okay? My mom asked me. Uh, yeah, actually, I do feel kind of crappy. I think I'm going to go to my room and rest. My family suspiciously uh, eyed me, my every move as I hurried up to my room. I couldn't take this criticism. What the hell is wrong with them? I thought to myself as I soaked in a scorching bamboo bath later that night. 
Um, as I scrub, scrub my body, I noticed a fine growth of hair all over my stomach that I had never seen before. Okay, keep going. Um, okay, uh, great. Another imperfection to add to the list. Um, I sarcastically remarked to myself, I decided to take a nap and about an hour later, a shrill ring awakened me in my ear. I looked at the caller ID. It was GP. I really wasn't in the mood to talk to him right now. I thought to myself dreadfully. After he had left me a message, I checked my voicemail. All right, just till there. Okay, very good reading, very good reading. Uh, I do want to see if we can uh, um, uh, work on your D sound just a little bit. So for example, mood, mood. Mood. All right, so here, your D sound, your, your tongue is actually being pressed against the back of your teeth. So let's say these are, these are your teeth here, right here in front. Okay, you're pressing your tongue against the back, and you're saying mood. Okay, so mm -hmm. here's the difference. Okay, we want to make this sound. So uh, follow me, okay? We're going to say D, D. Please repeat that. D. D. Okay, one more time. D, D. D. Okay, now we're going to say mood. Mood. Good. One more time. Mood. Mood. Okay, mood. Mood. Ah, uh, go back to that D sound. Mood. Mood. Okay, all right, let's space it out one more time. We're going to say mood. Mood. Okay, all right, mood. Mood. Okay, good. Now, now that your tongue is in the right place, okay, um, you're, we're going to practice uh, saying that D just a little bit quieter. So instead of saying mood, all right, I feel like we're exhausted after saying it, okay, uh, we're going to say mood, really quiet, mood. Mood. All right, take your tongue off the back of your teeth. I can hear you. All right, I hear it. <laughs> it's hard. You, you, can't, you can't trick me. I've got really good ears. You cannot Aww. trick me. Okay, so we're going to say mood, mood. M mood. There you go, mood. Mood. Okay, all right, so keep working on that D, all right? You don't okay. want your tongue to touch your teeth. Okay, that's, it. that's important with that D. It'll help you with, uh, um, um, it'll, it'll help you in, in, uh, in sounding more like an English speaker, okay? Uh, okay. I have uh, uh, one other word that I wanted to practice with you, okay? Yes. And okay, you did very well. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this word is probably a new word for you. The word is aghast. Aghast. Mm, yes, aghast. Yes. Okay, one more time. Aghast. Aghast. Great. Okay. So, uh, yeah. your your homework is that D sound. Okay, Aga? Okay. okay practice, practice that D. Remember, you don't want to touch your tongue. You want to pull it back and let your tongue hit the top of your mouth. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Thank you, class, for for uh, coming. Um, uh, that was uh, this is my last hour for for this block of teaching. I'm going to take about four hours off and then uh, be back for lessons uh, tonight, my night. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>